hello everyone sunny victor here welcome back again to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how you can borrow cryptocurrencies with binance loan using the binance app so before i proceed with this video i'd like you to do me a very big favor by tapping the subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel and also hit the bell button to get notifications anytime i upload new videos so right now let's dive in let's dig in and let's go straight to the business so if you're watching this video right now i expect you to have binance account and if you do not have a binance account you are going to see the link to create binance account in the description box so click below click the description box and click the link and there to create a binance account so once you create the binance account you can decide to download the binance app on your mobile phone on play store or apple store so now once you create your binance account okay in order for you to borrow cryptocurrencies using binance loan you actually need to have some cryptocurrencies like bnb that's binance coin uh ethereum litecoin etc so now the first step the first thing you have to do okay is to go to your wallet okay and click deposit to deposit any of these cryptocurrency like bitcoin ethereum litecoin okay so you select the coin you have that you want to deposit now the ideology behind this is that instead of you selling your cryptocurrency you can collateralize it okay hold your cryptocurrency if you want to hold it for a very long period of time you don't want to sell it quick fast you can just collateralize it use it to borrow cryptocurrencies or borrow cash on uh binance and use it to do whatever you want to do then later you will pay back okay so now you copy the address of whatever bitcoin uh cryptocurrency you want to deposit on the binance app so you send the current cryptocurrency you have you send it to it you deposit it so right now i uh, i have binance usd here which i'm going to convert into bnb okay so i'm going to convert that uh this binance usd i'll convert like 200 dollars to bnb then collateralize it use it to borrow another cryptocurrency on you know so now let's dive in let's dig in and let's go straight to the business so now i'm going to click on bnb right here i click bnb right here okay so because bnb slash busd i already have usd so i'll click on buy right now buy click the buy button then i'll type in the total amount of usd i want to buy 200 dollars oh I'm, I'm gonna click on buy so that's gonna give me 7.02 bnb so i'll click on buy bnb now so the order has been created so in order not to waste my time the order is yet to be successful i can just cancel hold cancel it right now and click on market click i'm going to click here and select market so that my order will be fast so now I'm going to type I need I need 7.02 7 .02. so I'm gonna click on buy BNB and automatically the order is successful so now let's go back to wallet so now this is wallet you can see my the BNB now is reflecting okay so I just bought 7.01 BNB which is about $200 <clears throat> it's actually $200 but charges okay so trading fee was deducted so that's why it's $199.71 so now I'll go back to the crypto loan page how do I get there if you're using the mobile app or don't forget just tap finance if you're using the web okay so for the app I'm gonna click more right here and under finance okay you are going to see crypto loans this is crypto loans then i'm going to play crypto loans right here and i'm going to select the cryptocurrency i want to borrow okay so i'm going to borrow usdt okay which is stable coin so if you want to borrow i actually recommend you borrow stable coins since you you're, you're using a normal cryptocurrency as collateral or except you actually need uh, to borrow a normal cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Ethereum. But if not, okay, borrow stable coins because one USDT will remain one USDT. It can not be two US dollar. It can become two US dollar within a month or within three months. Okay, it is called stable coin. 
so but if you buy ten dollar worth of or if you borrow ten dollar of bnb now in the next one month it can turn to twenty dollars worth of bnb i hope you understand what i mean so and here is even a, uh, a tutorial okay which you can actually watch okay before you start borrowing okay so you understand more or better so now i'll select usdt as the coin i want to borrow or as the cryptocurrency i want to borrow okay so now the next step is for me to select the collateral so this is the collateral so i'm going to type the amount i want to borrow okay so don't forget my i'm going to type the amount i want to borrow so i'll type 100 100 uh, usdt okay so the collateral amount is 6.379 okay so i'm i'm going to select start borrowing now okay so but before that you can go to the frequently asked questions okay go to it read it on your own so i'm supposed to be reading right now but now that i not to waste time you can do that yourself okay so you can see this is simple and straightforward and long time we have the seven days 14 days 30 days 90 days long time so you can decide to go for anyone you desire so now after seven days my repayment amount is going to be 100.175 uh usdt okay and if i select 14 days okay it's going to be 100.35 usdt so what the interest that is actually uh attached to it is not even up to one dollar okay so which i think is actually making sense okay it's really good so i'm going to select 14 days you can actually pay back before that seven days okay you can pay back on time before that 14 days so uh, if you like you can pay back at uh after uh you can pay back that same day okay if you borrow today if you if you like you can decide to pay back that same day it's up to you okay so now another thing i want you guys to take note here is that let's assume the price of bnb now now drops because when i bought this bnb the price is 28 dollars plus let's now say the price of bnb now goes down to like 26 dollars in order for uh for your bnb coin or your cryptocurrency not to be liquidated you have to top up okay so look at this here liquidation ltv when using bnb as collateral the system will automatically close your mortgage asset to repay the loan when loan assets accumulated interest btc value mortgage asset btc value is greater than 83 percent please top up your mortgage in time to avoid closing the position so in order to avoid liquidation okay you make sure you top up your this thing once you once your uh, mortgage asset value is greater than 83 percent of what you have okay so you make sure you top up with some bnb okay so and once you repay back your uh the usdt or the loan or whatever cryptocurrency you borrow you'll be able to uh, get back your full bnb okay which will be transferred directly to your uh what's it called to your spot wallet so now if i click start borrowing now okay i'll have to agree read and agree to the uh, Binance Loan Service Agreement. So I'm going to tick this box right here. So I'll click here and I'm going to click confirm. So now I just click confirmed and you can see loan success. So the loan I borrowed, okay, has been transferred to my spot wallet. I'm going to show you that. So now in order for you to see your loan history or whatever, you, all you just have to do is to click on orders right here at the top. So you click on orders, it will show you your uh, crypto loans okay and this is it so if you want to repay back you are go you are also going to see where you repay back here okay so now let me go to my sport wallet and show you the usdt i just borrowed so i'm going to tap wallet right here and boom so now the usdt now is right here so this is the usdt 99 dollars plus so now finance coin i mean to say i use as collateral has been deducted okay 
so now this usdt i can do whatever i like with it i can trade with it i can you now sell it i can withdraw it okay i can do whatever i like with it i can use it to invest into other platform and that is it guys so i really hope you find this video helpful if so please make sure you like comment and share and please if you're here to subscribe don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video until next time peace out